If you have ever tried vibe coding with such tools as Laubel V0 and others, and you are not a professional programmer, I'm sure that potentially you thought that it would be great to know a bit about web development and how the modern applications works. That's why on this channel, I have launched a series of the episodes, Web Dev Fundamentals for Vibe Coders. And in the first episode, we will go through the web development environment. This episode is, by the way, already published, and you'll find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. So in this episode, we will uh, set up Node.js and NPM on your machine. Uh, we'll also, also install uh, two Vibe coding tools, Cursor and Google Anti-Gravity, but we will not use AI at uh, this particular episode and in this series in general, because my idea is the following, that Vibe coders would need to know at least some fundamentals, how web development is functioning without AI, and then to use AI in order to make everything a lot, a lot faster. We will also uh, launch a first Next.js application uh, accessible locally via the local host on your laptop. In the second episode, we will go through front-end fundamentals, such as JavaScript, React framework, Tailwind Tal CSS, and we'll even install the UI library ShotCN in the Next.js application. In the third episode, we'll go through the version control, and you will know what is Git and GitHub, and how modern programmers are using these tools to develop web applications. In the fourth episode, we'll go through the deployment pipeline, which starts with the development of application locally on the local host on your machine. Then you are pushing it to GitHub. After that, uh, the web application is deployed on Vercel and accessible via the domain name, which we'll purchase with Namecheap. And in the last episode of the series, we'll go through some of the backend elements and concepts which every web coder should know. Uh, it starts with APIs, we'll go through environmental variables, Next.js routing, and we'll finalize this series with webhooks. If you're using NA10, uh, Zapier, or Make.com, you would need to know what webhooks are and how to call from your Vibe Coded application the backend which you developed in one of these tools. I hope you like this series of the episodes. Uh, I'm sure that every Vibe Coder needs it. If you want to be notified when the new episodes arrive, Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.